whether you are a Pokemon investor or just a Pokemon collector, this information you guys are going to find pretty relevant, I think. This is something last night um, I was up, I couldn't sleep, just kind of thinking about this. So let's just dive into it. Um, pretty much what this is, this little spreadsheet I made, we're correlating the booster box price to like the top chase card PSA 10 price. Um, did some color coding here. We're just going to dive straight into this, but I do want to say that these booster box prices, um, as of the day of this recording, these all came from TCG Player, and the PSA 10 prices came from eBay. Um, I know you can always get booster boxes cheaper elsewhere, um, but TCG Player is kind of the staple for booster box pricing, and same I, th I feel with eBay, with the PSA 10 pricing. Um, so, let's just start off with the big dog, Evolving Skies. It's been on a tear. Um... This has been the last average price, 680. It's really expensive. Most people aren't gonna, can't afford it. Probably, definitely gonna be 800, 1,000 dollar box by the end of the year. I don't know, but it's expensive, so it's red. Um, the Umbreon's beautiful. It's been going around 1,200. Some some sales over 1,300, but average around 12. Um, you know what's surprising though is the ratio. Um, it's like 1.7 times um the booster box price for the psa 10 price so and there's a lot of these cards graded um and you know this doesn't this doesn't include the full set of anything just the chase card so um just like kind of a little chart to look at to see if you want to see like potential good buys just for collecting or potentially investing um you'll see uh well, as we get down here, sets with more green all the way around might be better, but we'll talk about that as we get to that. Um, next up is Fusion Strike, um, the latest set that sold out on the on the Pokemon Center. Um, it shot up. It's around 230 now. Uh, I put that in yellow. Um, it's the only one here that's above 200, kind of in that range. Everywhere else is either a lot cheaper or a lot more expensive, uh, depending. I mean, there is the some of these other ones, but... Um, you got that beautiful Gengar card, and last sold on that was about 600 bucks. So, little yellow, getting into the red with the pricing here. Um, this is supposed to be like orange. But, the ratio, 2.6 times the booster box price for the uh, PSA 10 price. So, that's actually still probably a pretty good buy. I, I, I mean... You got to take into consideration everything because I still think Evolving Skies is a good buy. It's gonna it's gonna go up, but for the average person, um, if you wanted just to collect an older set or or to invest, um, I still think Fusion Strike obviously is a pretty good buy. Um, next up, Lost Origin. Um, we're just kind of going through Sword and Shield. We'll get into some Scarlet and Violet and then some Sun and Moon. Um, and I didn't do all the sets. I just did the ones with booster boxes and just kind of ones I thought were relevant. Um, Lost Origin, you could pick up 176. You got that Giratina that's... Honestly, I love that Giratina, that artwork. I think that's really underrated. I think that's that that's going to be known later as a big chase card. Um, but what I like about Lost Origin is this percentage ratio. It's not the highest on the list, but 4.1 times the booster box price for the PSA 10 price. Um, so yeah, big chase card. Um, so you can see we got green and green. I think honestly, you can still, so this is what's interesting about Lost Origin. And it's available on the Pokemon Center still, $143. This is TCG <clears throat> player pricing, but I mean, so really that would be really like 143 if you're getting it at Pokemon Center. I think Lost Origin is a no-brainer. It's going to be following these two here shortly. Um, it's going to go to 200 when it sells out. I don't know what that's what the correlation exactly is. As you can see, there's not exactly a rhyme or reason um, for some of these. I know Pokemon popularity plays a big factor. Um, how many are gradable plays a big factor as well. But popularity can override that because there's so many of these. I think there's over 10,000. PSA 10s of the Umbreon. So, you know, that's not always, nothing is ever set in stone with Pokemon when it comes to see it, you know, seems so. Um, but yeah, this Charizard, um, we'll go into Brilliant Stars, um, 168, 
a box. Um, this is one of the cheaper of the more expensive of the cheapest chase cards. You can get this card. I think this card's undervalued, honestly. I mean, I know it's Charizard, but this is beautiful. This is the artwork where he's taking on the Venusaur. Um, the ratio isn't isn't quite. This starts to get down there with the ratio, though. I think that over time, as this sells out and this goes to 200 i would expect a big increase here um i think this is a good card to pick up if i'm picking up brilliant start i don't think the booster box is bad at this price either but i might be looking at the psa 10 of the charizard uh next up we got chilling rain uh 195 last solds on tcg with uh the blaziken and you guys saw how hard it is to pull that blaziken if you watched cool trainer ryan's videos he went through cases in cases trying to pull that blaziken so absolutely insane um the ratio on this is not that bad so 1.9 but it's so hard to pull so i mean for me it i would be picking up the blaziken in a psa 10 personally i think this is going to go up because of how difficult it is to pull and then you got to think if you pull it are you getting a PSA 10 clean copy? So I think this we're going to see this one rise big time right here. Um, Silver Tempest up next. Um, this is our first booster box in the bright green for 140 price range. So that's under under Pokemon Center pricing on TCG Player. Find some TikTok deals, you know, cheaper too. Um, then the Lugia, 300 bucks about in a PSA 10 love this lugia i actually really like this artwork I, I don't don't think everyone does but beautiful card um so for this see this is the this is another set obviously chilling rains and all like the darker green but we got one bright green two darker greens with the two just over two to one return ratio from the booster box to the psa 10 i think with silver tempest you could go you can get boxes i would get boxes um, and, and the Lugia, if you can, obviously, you know, that's why we're kind of doing this chart. So not everyone can afford the Lugia if you don't want to spend 300 on it. Um, but you want a chance to pull it, you can, you can open some boxes. Um, still not, still not all in the green, but better. So that kind of ends the sword and shield era. Um, next we're just going to get into Scarlet and Violet base, which, is as you guys can see the cheapest box on here uh, 91 on tcg player you can pick these up cheaper other places um which would probably increase this ratio but not a super strong set um you can get that miriam in a psa 10 for 95 bucks um i do think and you can see the return it's not very good so i do think that some of the other cards in the set um the gardevoir Anyways, then the Maridon are great cards as well. I think that this is kind of a sleeper set. They printed a lot of it, but I would say you're looking at both of these. I mean, I think you could pick up you could pick up boxes. They're so cheap. I what you can say for certain is that booster boxes booster box prices will definitely be well over ninety one. So now with the Scarlet and Violet sets, the MSRP actually increased. So it's not one forty three. It's like one sixty something. Um, so keep that in mind. Um, next up, we got Paldea. So now this set's extremely interesting to me. Um, 106 a booster box on TCG, obviously cheaper. TikTok, wherever you want to pick it up. The Magikarp. The Magikarp is tough to grade. Last sold 600. That's 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 as as expensive as the Gengar and almost the Giratina. Um, or it's as expensive as a few of these cards combined. Um, but the return ratio is really big. It's, it's the biggest on the list. Paldea is a no brainer buy for the boxes. Absolutely load up in these boxes. Eventually they're going to run out of stock and this is going to be, this is going to be a great set just because of that. Um, once again, not factoring in the whole set, but I think this is a no brainer. Um, I'm not sure about this price. I think more, I think this, it's tough to tell. 
But with this percentage, I feel like this Magikarp's going to drop as more get graded. I could be wrong, but I would say more, go more boxes than PSA 10s. But, you know, that is up for you guys to decide. Um, then we got Paradox Rift, um, which is another... We got two bright greens and a dark green. So, um, looks like this is the first one. So, sub $100 box. Um, the Roaring Moon is a cool looking card. Looks great. Around $200 in a PSA 10. And you're over a two, two to one um, ratio between booster box and PSA 10 price. So, um, this I think is kind of a no brainer on either. Um, I would, I might hold off. I don't know. It's kind of tough. I would be looking at picking up both if you can afford it. Uh, a few boxes or maybe even a case, depending on your budget. Um, I think Paradox Rift is not going to be like Paldea, but it's a great set that's going to appreciate long term. And the Roaring Moon, the Roaring Moon is tough to tell. It's not. It's not like. It's not like looking back though that like Magikarp is like the most desirable Pokemon, but he's from Gen One, so popular. So the Roaring Moon. I don't know. This one's tougher even though it's all in all green but i think you're good to go with booster boxes for sure then you got obsidian flames a lot of people like in the investing uh side are saying to stay away from obsidian flames because it's so charizard heavy i kind of disagree with that you got 101 dollars um you can get these cheaper other places but that this charizard is a beautiful card it slept on I think this is definitely going to be going up in value in a PSA 10. And I, I mean, who doesn't want to pull a Charizard Chase card? You got the ratios like 2.2. 2.2 .2, uh, ratio you can see here. Um, I'm I'm sitting on Obsidian Flames boxes. I don't have this card yet. I do want to get this card. I had a chance to get this card. Should have gotten this card when the PSA 10 price was lower. Anyways... I think that long term, this is going to be, this is a good set to have. I don't think you can go wrong with Charizard, honestly. There's a lot of Charizards in this set, but for the chase, um, I think it looks good. Um, it's not as nice as this Charizard, but I think it's cool. Um, so next up, what do we got? So now we're going to get into some older sets just to kind of, just to kind of show like after a certain amount of time, you can see the dates here that like maybe some of these aren't quite as good investments um but you know that is that is up to you guys to decide in the end but here's three sun and moon sets we got team up booster box price 23.85 and then the latios latios at 2400 in psa 10 so you're like one to one one to one ratio so um this card, this card has gone up a lot in the past few months. Um, and this is just insane, honestly, like these prices, but I, I don't know how much more room there is. Like, so if you're looking to get into it now, I would probably stay away from it. But if you have the budget for it, eventually, eventually, I don't know. I just don't know about this. I feel like the boxes will keep going up as there's less and less, but the tens, I don't know. It's tough. It's tough for me to justify, for like for me currently spending that much money. Cosmic Eclipse, you got eight forty. Um, the Chase card's a lot more affordable. Um, there's the Arceus Diago Palkia, um, but you're getting really bad ratio here. So I think I would avoid the boxes. And if you want to grab this in a PSA ten, that's a much better buy. Um, and then finally, we got Burning Shadows, which is the most affordable. Um, picked it just because it's the most affordable of these three but it has a really high chase card so this one's kind of interesting um the charizard at 2400 last holds is pretty insane um 5.5 ratio of booster box to psa 10 chase card price that's honestly insane um i like I said, I don't know how like these expensive cards are gonna do long term. I can't, you can't say anything for certain. But with a price tag like that, you would think that 
this booster box price will catch up and then this ratio has to lower down it just seems like the sets with these big ratios they they lower down over time obviously with this exception though because you can see 2017 these other ones are newer last year and two years ago um so just keep that in mind so if you're gonna go burning shadows i would get boxes if you can because people are gonna want to pull this card especially right now like <clears throat> and it's hard to pull hard to grade but who's gonna want to spend 2400 when you have a chance at 430 <laughs> i mean you know just there's an argument to be made for that there's an argument to be made for all of these sets and this doesn't cover everything um but it kind of gives you guys you know a visual representation of what sets might be worth picking up and for why or what um psa 10 cards might be worth picking up and for why um so yeah for myself like i said um i wouldn't mind getting more paldea i i do have obsidian flames i still like silver tempest as well and i did just get some lost origin at the pokemon center price um so it was like 143 so if we change that on here real quick i'm gonna edit that back out but see that gets this in that gets this into the 500 percent range so and then that would make this i would make this bright green if we do that at pokemon center price you got bright green bright green so i'm gonna undo those real quick just so we have it back to how it was but keeping with that in mind, Lost Origin, I think, is is the best best way to go, personally, because it's that it's got a big chase card, and that price you can get is too good for what this is. And I think this is going to creep up. This is going to be around a thousand dollars eventually, and I think this one's going to be around fifteen hundred soon. And then the box is going to be like a thousand for for evolving. It's it's insane, but um that that is going to kind of do just my uh my thoughts and my insights on this little spreadsheet that i had made up um like i said just couldn't sleep last night so i kind of wanted to come up with a little uh ratio and color code it and everything so um if you guys enjoyed this video um and you're not already subscribed do me a favor and go down below and hit the like button hit the subscribe button it would really mean a lot to me um i greatly appreciate it and yeah let me know in the comments what you guys think um, of any of these sets or of this spreadsheet that I made up. If it was helpful at all, let me know. Um, if you want me to expand upon this, get go back furthermore into like XY era or add all of the sets in from, you know, every generation, we can do that. Let me know. Uh, I'm down to do that if that's what you guys want. Um, so that's going to do it for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, just remember, guys, it was never a phase, never a phase.